Okay, again, we're working with Blender 2.7a, and this is uh, basically we're going to go over uh, a Tron effect. If you've ever seen the movie Tron, they have edge glows. We're going to do that basic concept here. It's very simple. I'm going to show it today in the Blender internal renderer, and then in the next video, it's going to be very repetitive, but I'm going to show you how to do it in the cycles renderer. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have a cube. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to tab into edit mode. I hit G, with, make sure all your your everything selected on your cube. G, Z, one, enter. You might ask, why did I do that in edit mode rather than object mode? Well, uh, if I hit one on my number pad to go to front view here, you'll notice that now our center point is right at the base of that cube. So if I was to shift D and clone this over like this, I can now scale this up. We have a new cube, but they're same, still on the same plane, where if I had just moved it up and I scaled it, I would have to then adjust that up. And we're going to put a bunch of cubes in this video at the end. So I'm going to delete that. Uh, but again, just to start over, tab in edit mode, A once or twice to make sure they're all selected, G, Z, 1, enter on the cube here. And that's just to position the cube uh, where I want it. Next, we're going to hit spacebar, type in plane, add plane. So hit enter there, S to scale. 10, enter. So now we have a plane. This is what it looks like. Um, now, I showed you in a previous video, and again, a lot of this is just review. I've built up to this video. We want to be able to bevel this object and then add an effect to the to those edges, a material to those edges. So with that select, I'm going to go to material. This cube already has a material. I'm going to go ahead and set that to black. Now, I'm going to hit Control T, not Control T, Control B, yes, to bevel. And now I can bevel the edges however deep I want them. Now I click to, in, to add that, so now it's set. Now I'm going to click to add a new material here, so this plus symbol here, new material here. We're going to set it, we'll set it to a nice blue color, but you can pick whatever. You know what? In the, in the previous videos I did blue for the edge effects. Let's go ahead and do red this time, just to change things up. Let's turn intensity all the way up, specularity down, emission to two, and then under our world view, let's hit our sky, make it black, and then under indirect lighting, we're going to do approximate and set passes to either two or three. Go ahead and hit F12, and I forgot to apply those, so luckily our edges are still detect, uh, selected here, with those edges that we want glowing checked, highlighted, selected, we're going to make sure we have this material selected and click Assign. Now I can hit F12 and we have that glow effect. But we still have our light source here, so tab out of edit mode, select that light, delete and enter and hit F12. And now we have this cube with a glowing effect. That You could do more with this, uh, probably doing different material on the cube itself will allow glow effect to affect that, because since it's black, it's not really uh, reflecting any color. Um, but we're going for very basics here. So now at this point, I can go into top view, and I can do shift D, and I can scale this up. I can hit five on my number pad to go into um, out of uh, orthographic mode into, uh, from perspective to orth orthographic, meaning that's a flat view, so it just makes it a little bit easier to work here. But I can go like this, and I can go like this. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. Looking good. So we just have that nice glow effect working there. Let's go ahead and select all our cubes here and scale them all down a little bit. And maybe move our camera up a little bit. Let's move our camera to the front view, actually. And the way I move my camera to the front view, by the way, I hit one on the number pad, which brings me to front view, and then control alt zero on the number pad will bring your camera to wherever view you're looking at. So if I was to move my camera to here, I can hit control alt zero, it moves my camera there. One brings me back to front view, control alt zero on the number pad, that brings the front view. At this point, I can adjust it like so. So there we go, we have our glowing cubes here in Blender. And again, um, this is a very, very basic. You can definitely go into more detail. Again, you can see the glow effect on the ground here, but you're not seeing it on the cubes itself. Uh, and that's because, again, we're using black. And you know, let's, let's go ahead and see if we can play around with that. Let's go ahead and just make that just a 
gray color. Hit F12 and see how that looks. Now uh, the the uh, cubes are getting that reflection too. So uh, in my original uh, render of this, I did every all the materials as black, uh, but it'd probably be better to use a grayish color because we removed all our other lighting sources. So the only lights coming off are the glow effects, so the reddish lights. Uh, but that's it. That is our Tron glowing effect in the internal Blender renderer. In the next video, we're going to do the same exact thing with the Cycles renderer. So, hope I didn't go too fast. It's a video. You're watching it on YouTube. There's an option to slow it down into slow motion. If I went too slow for you, you can always speed it up. Uh, but I try not to go too slow because then the videos get boring. And uh, there are videos, so you can always pause when you need to. So that is it. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris at the K. There's a link in the description. If you like my videos, want to see more, and want to support those videos, uh, be sure to check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There's a link in the description of that. Um, and there, for as little as a dollar a month, you can help support me. If you can't support me financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. All those things help out greatly. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.